This is my energy efficient home design. My home picture tour from multiple angles includes the front view and a snippet of the ceiling view which consists of a 10 by 10 centimeter window and a 10 by 20 centimeter door which opens and closes. My back view consists of a 10 by 10 centimeter window also. And this is just the left side view and the right side view of my house. When creating the architecture and design of my house, I made sure that it was appealing in a manner where it captures your eye and you want to learn more about the efficiency of the house, which is why I included a like plant type of gardening pattern. This is a small video of my house tour, so you can look at more angles that were not really captured in the previous photos. For my door, the insulation that I used was foam because I know that foam is a great air barrier and it creates a great cooling control system. So it's perfect for the weather stripping that was needed. I first cut out the foam stripping that was given to me into measurements of the length and width of the door. After that, I sticked it onto the inside of the house making sure that the foam was still reaching out so when you close the door it like touches it in a manner. I did this so when you close the door it will trap the cool air in and take the heat out. So I felt like this was the great source of weather stripping. As you can tell when you close the door you can see the where like the door is cut but you don't see big gaps that will lead a lot of air out. For my windows, I used the same material, but the procedure was different. I first cut out the plastic that was used for the window, but I made sure that the measurement was bigger than the actual cutout, so no air would be slipping out accidentally. After I glued it onto the cut cutout, I put foam on top of the plastic and over the plastic I put the poster board. So as you can see from the back view, you can see the door and the window and from the front view, you can see the other um, window. <laughs> For my wall, ceiling and floor, the insulation that I used was cotton and aluminum. I first unraveled the cotton balls so it can be a thin layer over each of the walls. After that, after I glued them on, I taped some aluminum over the cotton balls and after that I put the poster board on top of that but when I was doing this I made sure that it met the requirement of one centimeter because I didn't want it to go over that as you can see from the outside of the door you can kind of see the inside of the insulation so the cotton the aluminum and then the poster board I use cotton because I figured that this was a great insulator to trap in the air because of the interwined fibers that it contains and I know that cotton is the material that lets heat leave the house for you to keep the cold air inside and I of course use aluminum because it is thermally reflective so this means that it is it is great for blocking radiant heat from entering when I tested out my house the initial temperature was 23 degrees, degrees celsius and my final temperature was 17 degrees Celsius, so my temperature change was 6 degrees Celsius. I used two different thermometers because I wanted to make sure that there was a form of collaboration where my data was exactly on point. <laughs> and for my house, it was efficient because I had the weather strippings on the doors and windows. I used different materials all over the house for insulation, so cotton, foam, and aluminum. And I made sure that all my edges were completely closed, so when I was cutting the house up, it was like very thin. And for my conservation, every time I was testing my house out, I made sure that the, that the door was completely closed. And I have insulation in my house and I have no extra openings so no gaps while I was creating my house. So I hope you like my house. Thank you.